India is doing such great leadership throughout their G20, and I'm excited that I'm taking part in one of the panels uh, to advance the rollout of electric buses. It's great. I, I live here in India, and I love watching in Mumbai. We've got the um, Indian-made double-decker electric buses that are rolled out there. India is doing such great leadership throughout their G20, and this week the focus on clean energy and the energy transition, it's bringing together people from around the world. We've got a really senior delegation uh, from across the U.S. government, and today specifically I'm excited that I'm taking part in one of the panels uh, to advance the rollout of electric buses. And this is something that both of our countries, India and the U.S., have done a lot to advance. After the Prime Minister's wonderful visit last month to the White House, our two governments announced the intention to uh, provide the financing to supply about 10,000 Indian-made buses to Indian cities. And what we're going to talk about today is, in fact, we want to expand that even beyond 10,000. We've got an eye on expanding that to 50,000 buses. So how you seen the electric vehicle in Indian You know, it's great. I, I live here in India, and I love watching in Mumbai. We've got the um, Indian-made double-decker electric buses that are rolled out there. At our consulate in Mumbai, we've got electric vehicles that are produced and made here in India. So the, the transition is happening. We also have financing that we do through the U.S. Um, uh, that supports the rollout of two- and three-wheelers across the country. So how is it important on the G20 event or just discussion about e yeah, e-mobility is uh, critically important because the transportation sector uh, is a contributor right now to about a quarter of the um, of the pollution that comes that uh, causes climate change. So the more that we can make adjustments and switch to cleaner electric uh, vehicles, electric freight, and human transportation the better it's going to be for all of us. The CM also is announcing on 2022, 24 has launch on e-electric. I saw that. I saw that, yeah. Congratulations to the state. I, I was here for that, and I thought um, all of these steps uh, that everyone can do at state levels in both of our countries, at national levels, uh, with joint research, there's, uh, there's a lot to be done. This is very important for the world. It's going to help us frame out that world that all of us want. It's prosperous and free and rules-bound.